Good evening. Welcome to the Good Friday service. We will begin 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 26. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. what has passed down to us. We invite you to feel free to stand and sing with us, sit and ponder in your chair, or join in the singing right where you are. We are here to bear witness to the truth that over 2,000 years ago, Jesus of Nazareth, the long-awaited Messiah, died for our sins according to the scriptures. What was accomplished on that Friday so long ago must be remembered by all those who place their faith in him that his sacrifice was made once for all. We begin in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 15. At dawn's first light, the high priests with the religious leaders and scholars arranged a conference with the Jewish council. After tying Jesus securely, they took him out and presented him to Pilate. Pilate asked him, He answered, You say so. The high priest let loose a barrage of accusations, and Pilate asked again, Aren't you going to answer anything? Still, he said nothing. Pilate was impressed. It was a custom at the feast to release a prisoner, anyone the people asked for. There was one prisoner called Barabbas, locked up with those who had committed murder during the uprising against Rome. And as the crowd came up and began to present its petition for him, to release a prisoner, Pilate anticipated them. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews to you? Pilate knew by this time that it was through sheer spite that the high priest had turned Jesus over to him. But the high priest by then had worked up the crowd to ask for the release of Barabbas. Pilate came back. So what do I do with this man you call king of the Jews? They yelled. Nail him to a cross. Pilate objected. And they yelled all the louder. Nail him to a cross. Men of sorrow. Bye. 
It is paid in full by the precious blood that my Jesus spilled. Now the curse of sin has no hold on me. Whom the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. Now my debt is paid. It is paid in full by the precious blood that my Jesus spilled. Now the curse of sin has no hold on me. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. Oh, that rugged cross, my salvation. Where your love poured out over me. Now my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Praise and honor unto me. Oh, that rugged cross, my salvation. Where your love poured out over me. Now my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Praise and honor unto Thee. Praise and. Pilate gave the crowd what it wanted, set Barabbas free and turned Jesus over for whipping and crucifixion. The soldiers took Jesus into the palace called the Praetorium and called together the entire brigade. They dressed him up in purple and put a crown plated from a thorn bush on his head. Then they began their mockery. Bravo, King of the Jews! They banged on his head with a club, scourged him, spit on him, knelt down in mock worship. After they had had their fun, they took off the purple cape and put his own clothes back on him. Then they marched him out to nail him to the cross. There was a man walking by coming from work, Simon from Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus, and they made him carry Jesus' cross. The soldiers brought Jesus to Golgotha, meaning Skull Hill. They offered him a mild painkiller, wine mixed with myrrh, but he wouldn't take it and they nailed him to the cross at nine o'clock in the morning. So the soldiers did this, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple, took her into his own home. Jesus, you 
with Jesus, they crucified two criminals, one to his right, the other to his left. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And the soldiers divided up his clothes by casting lots. The people stood watching, and the rulers even sneered at him. They said, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was a written notice above his head, which read, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who's hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God? Since you are under the same sentence, we are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. I tell you the truth. Today you will be with me in paradise.
Bless you, Lord. People passing along the road jeered at him, and they pretended to be sad by shaking their heads in lament. You bragged that you could tear down the temple and you really and rebuild it in three days. The so show us your stuff. Save yourself. The high priests along with the religious scholars, were right there mixing it up with the rest of them, having a great time poking fun at him. He saved others, he him but he can't save himself. We'll all yeah, become believers then. At noon, the sky became extremely dark. The darkness lasted three hours. At three o'clock, Jesus groaned out of the depths, crying loudly. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Which means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some bystanders who heard him said, Listen, he's calling for Elijah. Someone ran off, soaked a sponge in sour wine and put it on a stick, gave it to him a drink, saying, Let's see if Elijah comes to take him down. But Jesus, with a loud cry, gave his last Father, into your hands I commit my spirit.
At that moment, the temple curtain ripped right down the middle. The earth shook and the rocks split. When the Roman captain standing guard in front of him saw all that had happened after Jesus quit breathing, he said, This has to be the Son of God. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus but secretly for fear of the religious authorities, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus also, who had first come to him by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds weight. They took the body of Jesus, bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new tomb where no one had ever been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, as the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. Let us observe a moment of silence. First Corinthians chapter 11, verses 27 through 29. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself then, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment on himself. Consider all that we have said and sang tonight. Remember all that Jesus went through to accomplish our salvation. Trust in the power of the Son of God to deliver us as surely as he delivered the second thief. Let us remember all of this in our taking of the cup and the bread tonight as a community of believers. Let's pray. Lord, we testify to this truth until you return. Thank you for pouring your blood for our sins. Thank you for allowing your body to be broken that we might become whole. Amen. Come forward and take communion. Take the bread of life Broken for all my sin Your body crucified To make me whole again
in prayer. Almighty God, your son Jesus Christ was lifted high upon the cross so that he might draw the whole world to himself. Grant that we, who glory in this death for our salvation, may also glory in his call to take up our cross and follow him. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. Amen.